N I E L space H E R N A N D E Z. All right, good afternoon. I'll ask you to please keep your voice up and speak slowly and distinctly for the benefit of everybody in the large courtroom. Counsel, you may inquire. Thank you, Your Honor. Good afternoon, Mr. Hernandez. Hey. Mr. Hernandez, how old are you? 23. Do you go by any other names? Yes. What are those? Uh, Takashi, uh, Takashi69, um, Pix, yeah. Mr. Hernandez, where were you born? Uh, Bush, Brooklyn. How far did you go in school? <sighs> About the 10th, uh, 11th grade or so, like that. What? Mr. Hernandez, are you currently in federal custody? Whoa. Yes, sir. Approximately when did you start living in federal custody? Uh, about uh, November 18, 2018. What were you arrested for? Uh, racketeering charges, um, you know, uh, violent crimes, shootings, uh, drug distribution. At some point, did you decide to cooperate with the government? Yes. When did that happen? Uh, a day after, um, November 19th, the day after uh, we, we was taken down. In connection with your cooperation, have you pleaded guilty to certain crimes? Yes. What crimes did you plead guilty to? Um, I believe there was uh, nine counts of racketeering, um, shootings, uh, and, and drug distribution. And you listed racketeering as one of the crimes to which you pleaded guilty. Were you a member of any gang? Yes, sir. What was the name of the gang that you were a member of? Uh, the Nantre Bloods. Nantre Bloods. Approximately when did you become a member? Uh, around, uh, I would say November of 2017. What sorts of things did nine trade members do? I'm sorry? What sorts of things did nine trade members do? Uh, we participated in a lot of, uh, you know, violent crimes, um, robberies, assaults, sorts of that nature. Mr. Hernandez, do you recognize anyone in the courtroom who was a member of Nine Trey when you were a member? Yes. Who do you recognize? And if you, if you can identify that person, uh, you identify where they're sitting in an article of clothing that that person may be wearing. Hob, Anthony Ellison has a gray suit on, uh, and uh, Luke Ajumai Mack has the brown suit on, with the white thing on his head. Your Honor, may the record reflect that the uh, witnesses identified Mr. Mack and Mr. Ellison? Yes, the record reflects that Mr. Um, um, Hernandez in sequence uh, uh, identified uh, Mr. Ellison and then Mr. Mack. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, Mr. Hernandez, we'll turn back to Nine Trey in a minute. Before we do, I'd like to ask you some questions about your life before Nine Trey. Where'd you grow up? Uh, I was raised and lived in uh, Bushwick, Brooklyn. Where'd you go to school? Um, so elementary, I went to PS59. Uh, for middle school, I went to Walmart Campos. For elementary, I went to PS59. Uh, middle school, Walmart Campos. And uh, high school, for the time being, went to Legacy High School. Yeah, Legacy High School. Did you work? Yes. What'd you do? Uh, I started working at the I want to say the age of 13. My first job was at uh, the Greenpoint Youth Court. It's a job that handles like misdemeanor cases for youth, um, where the youth acts in like a bailiff, judge, jury, youth advocate, community advocate type of thing. I did that about for two months. I'm not, uh, Mr. Hernandez, I'm going to cut you off. I think you are. Uh, speaking so close to the mic that you're blurring some of your words. Move back a tiny bit to the mic and keep your voice up and keep speaking slowly. Thank you. So I did that for about a year. Uh, I didn't make a lot of money doing that, so I started working with my brother. Uh, busting tables. I did that for about a year and a half. Then I uh, did a job at a grocery store named Stay Fresh and Grill where I worked as a delivery boy. I did that uh, about for two years. Uh, I worked up to register. Shortly after that, uh, I landed another busboy job, became a rapper. You said that you started a music career, is that right? 
Yes. Approximately when did that happen? I'd say around uh, 2014. Uh, and, and how did it come about? Well, at the, at the store I was working in, um, Stay Fresh and Grow, there was a guy under the name Peter Rogers, always, always coming there by a tea and like a tilapia, some peanuts, stuff like that. He asked me if uh, if I if I made music and if I rapped. Uh, and I was like, no. And he was like, well, you know, got the image for it. You look look cool. I was like, you know, I took it in consideration, and we started making music um, from the from the deli. And, and again, this is around 2014. Yes, sir. Like late 2014, like September. So when you started making music in around 2014, what type of music were you making? It was more of a, like a rock and roll. Uh, rap. Approximately how many records or songs did you release? Uh, eight, I believe. I believe around eight. Did you go on any tours? Yeah. Where did you tour? Uh, Eastern Europe. Um, I toured in uh, Bratislava, Slovakia. Bratislava, Slovakia. Uh, Prague, Czech Republic. Brno. Czech Republic, uh, St. Petersburg, Russia, and uh, Moscow. Were you making any money at this time as a as a, as a metal rap performer? Um, I mean, for all those shows, I made about like two thousand dollars profit. I, I did it just for the experience. Now, Mr. Hernandez, did there come a time when the type of music that you recorded changed? Yes. Approximately, when did that happen? Uh, around, uh, it, it changed in September of 2017. Uh, uh, directing your attention to September 2017, did there come a time when you filmed a music video in Brooklyn? Yes, sir. Where in Brooklyn? Uh, Pepper Stuyvesant, uh, Brooklyn, um, on Madison between, uh, Tompkins Avenue and Troop. Do you remember the address? I believe, I want to say it's 370 Madison. 370? 370. <laughs> Ms. Harney, can we please pull up for the witness what's been marked for identification as Government Exhibit 202? Mr. Hernandez, do you see Government Exhibit 202? Yes. What is that? 370 Madison. Is that a photograph of 370 Madison? Yes, sir. Does it fairly accurately depict the way 370 Madison looked? Yes, sir. Your Honor, the Government Office, Government Exhibit 202. Any objection? None, Your Honor. No, no objection. Proceed. Then we publish it, Your Honor? Yes. You filmed the music video? In, in front of 370 Madison? Yes, sir. What was the name of that song? Gummo. Gummo, G-U-M-M-O. Tony, we can take down the two Fire. Mr. Hernandez, how did the filming of Gummo come about? Um, around August of 2017, uh, I, made, I made the song Gummo. What? And there it is, guys, and that was actually the first day of 6-9 being in court. And that's it guys, now if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below for more Spill the Tea with me, Miss Tash Tiara, I would love you guys, and please like this video if you enjoyed it, and comment down below if you want more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye guys. And I actually don't know how you, they were able to record, the person, the person who got this audio was allowed to record this in court, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it, bye guys.